going on guys it's the bourbon hunter you know what time it is we're gonna go bourbon hunting but first we have some announcements so over 2,000 people joined the giveaway that's insane thank you so much and the discord over 175 people joined this weekend I am astonished thank you guys so much we're building a great community let's go see if we can't find some good juice all right so we're here at the alchemist in Mount Pleasant this is one of my favorite local stores that I come to because their selection is absolutely huge but anyway we're gonna look through this they have their own single barrel and as well as all of the Penelope's that you can think of. Now, y'all told me to take a look out at these Penelope Architects for the back, which has a build on it, build number five. Can't remember if this was the one that they said was the best or not, or if it was build three or four, but either way, I am, uh, I am not spending $100 on a bottle of Penelope. Oh, check this out. We got a little Innkeeper's Blend as well as the 2XO Tribute Blend. Now, these are starting to blow up a lot. For some reason, everybody's really looking after these, and $126 is a decent price from what I've seen. Henry McKenna's been going up recently. I don't know why. It's continuing to rise in price, even though it is everywhere that I go. 16-year Calumet, check that out. I saw somebody really happy that they found a 15-year the other day, but I am not the biggest fan of their stuff, but I assume the 16-year's gotta be good even if you pay $200 for it, I would say that 16 year anything is probably gonna be super oaky. Uh oh, Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Oh man, I don't smoke very many cigars, but I will say this makes me wanna get one of these just to smoke a cigar with. Okay. Look how expensive this bottle is. Holy crap, $400 for a 15 year Tennessee whiskey. Oh man, I don't know very many people that are going to do that. $107 for the Jefferson's Tropics. And then this crap is still floating around for some reason. Don't understand that at all. Proof in wood. Who knows about this? $249 for proof in wood. Seasons 2021. I guess there's a bottle in there. I was way too curious, so I had to grab it and bring it down here. 105 proof. Seasons 2021, blend of Tennessee, Bourbon, Indiana, and Kentucky. Interesting. You got all of your benchmarks down here for pretty good prices. I will say that the single barrel is probably the best one out of them if you do not find the foolproof. Since I'm a big High West fan, I actually decided to get this bottle of High West Double Rye, and I will say, a good bottle of double rye from them is not bad. It's a blend of two ryes, so it's technically a blended whiskey, but I really enjoyed the bottle that I got, especially for $35.99. Here's all the local brands made in South Carolina or around South Carolina. I was telling y'all, I was telling y'all, this is a banger. Don't, don't sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. All right. Unfortunately, I have had this from Firefly Distillery. It's not good, just, just, it's not good. That's not very good either. But this is good. This is actually a good one. And of course, the giveaway bottle with this beautiful glass cork on it. Real pretty. Still got their Weller single barrel tequila. Check out this whistle pig piggyback right here. Single barrel small batch. That doesn't make any damn sense. This is a rye whiskey made with lychee and tea barrel finish. I bet that is extremely interesting. If you're looking for something new, uh, there you go. Check this out, a little Willet purple top action. Price is uh, a, little, a little pricey, but if you want one, it's sitting right here. You say you never found it, there it is. There you go. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B523. Now I like this one a little bit better than the A123 from earlier this year. Now some people say it's not that right because 11 year, five month, but I think that they pulled it right at the right time. That's a good bottle. 15 year whistle pig, 12 year, 10 year, and the piggybacks as well as the summer stock and the rest of those. 
All right, so I know none of y'all are really Kentucky Owl fans, but I keep seeing this 10-year small batch right here. Is that worth picking up? Ooh, a couple more Woodfords over here. Looking good. Rare Perfection, 15-year, and a Woodford Reserve batch and historic barrel entry that is at 90.4 proof. I assume that this one is older than this one. If any of y'all are still looking for a good rye, I cannot recommend this enough. The Jack Daniels Bonded Rye is really good. High Wire Distillery, Jimmy Red Corn store pick. Now I've been telling y'all these are going to start getting internationally distributed to your stores near you. Look at that. 115 proof. I got to try this actually and it was really good. I'm not one for straight corn mash, but this was actually a really good pick. You got your Widow Jings as well as your Basil Hayden's that I was surprised so many of you actually claim that you like Basil Hayden. Now look, I've never seen this one. Subtle smoke. That seems a little different, doesn't it? Soft smokiness. I will say I am happy that Basil Hayden got rid of the paper going over the top. This little metal band looks so much better. Uh, Widow Jane the Vaults, age 14 years. Now I'm still open to trade for somebody who has the decadence that I'm still looking for. I would love to have a bottle of that from Widow Jane. All the blue runs that I don't really care for too much, I think they're a little overpriced for what they are. And I'm not gonna skip over the Castle and Key. Check that out, $79.99. All right, Willet Green Top. Saw a gentleman walking out with the Willet Green Top just a moment ago. They are everywhere down here. I even believe Heaven's Hill Bottle and Bond is going up in price just a little bit down here in South Carolina. I've not seen it really under $60 in quite some time. Sagmore Rye, 83 proof signature. I am looking for the eight year. I passed it in one or two videos not too long ago and I completely regret overlooking it. Y'all told me that was a big mistake. Since I'm trying to become a rye guy, this is the one to get, I guess. Ragged Branch, store pick, single barrel, double oak, weeded bourbon. Now, now we're talking 125 proof, man. I mean, that is gonna be a banger. I think I'm gonna end up picking this up. Still aged, Charlottesville, Virginia. Check these out. Any of you people heading down here to golf, plastic Woodford mini bottles bring out with you on the golf course. Or don't. I don't know if it's against the rules, but you should definitely come stop and get these because a lot of the other mini bottles of bourbon are made with glass. So, all right. No, sir, not yet. We, uh, we have to have a guy here really looking forward to well. What's going on guys, it's the Bourbon Hunter. Thank you so much to everybody that entered the giveaway. The results are in. So, Mr. Brian Helfrich, I hope I pronounced that right. I'll be getting in contact with you. Congrats on winning the Old Weller Antique 107. And the Discord giveaway will be Sunday night, the night that this uploads in the Discord. Join, come hang out, we'll have a great time and we'll give away a cool bottle too. Back to the video. We're here at Island Liquors. They got a, quite a few interesting things. Got my buddy Andrew here with me today. Yeah, he works going? here. So what you got in store for us? Uh, we got this Bushwood just came in this week. Uh, got a lot of golf courses out on the island, so that's a pretty cool bottle to have here. Uh, it's after the Caddyshack as well. Um, got some Bardstown Fusion Series in. Is that the number nine? It is. Oh boy. Man, people are going to be looking for that one. Got a Willet Rye over here. The green top. Green top yeah. with a 2XO up top. Oh, oh, I see it. Nice. Bringing in new stuff, you know, every week or so. So come by and check us out. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah. So he told me they did have the single barrel barrel proof here, but I missed it by just a couple days. So that's unfortunate. Two local brands. Obviously, y'all know about these getting shipped around. All right. So rabbit hole i've seen it everywhere i've never had any which one of these is the best somebody let me know we see another one of these interesting piggyback f1 things i'm a i'm a nascar guy so smell a delicious crispy smell after the race it's not your tailpipe it's a little bit of shake and then bake. shake and bake. i don't care for that at all y'all can y'all can have that Whistle Pig 15, 
Whistle Pig Ten Year. So this is the like the only liquor store for at least 15, 20 minutes around here. It's on the island. So if you come and stay at Isle of Palms, this is essentially gonna be one of your only options unless you wanna go off the island. So they have a really good selection for being such a niche store. Look at that, 30 bucks. Come out here, you get this, put some in a flask, take it to the beach. That's a pretty good price on Legion right there. Actually, that's, a, that's not a bad price at all on Legion. I like that. A little bit closer look at that Bushwood. Front nine, seven year. I wonder who makes it. Let's see. Bardstown. It's bottled by. Wow, guys, great hunting today. We saw some cool bottles, but my wallet was just a little too thin. Will it purple tops? Very expensive. I have had the nine year before and it was amazing. Almost picked it up, but decided against it because I found something I think is going to be pretty interesting. First off, I found this little mini bottle of Woodford. Now I see a lot of people are starting to collect mini bottles of small brands and other companies, whiskeys, but I don't know. It's a thing. I don't know why. And obviously I picked up this Ragged Branch Double Oak Single Barrel from The Alchemist and 124 proof i just i mean i couldn't pass up on that proof of a double oak so excited cody this is your pick if this isn't good man i swear i will anyway guys these giveaway videos can be a lot thank you to everyone who joined the discord thank you to caleb van vachter for joining the patreon and supporting us here please consider it guys and thank you to the user who decided to give me a super thanks my first one thank you so much everybody involved I want to continue to do more of this, so consider supporting us. And as always, Bourbon Hunter, out.